Slime House TV, myself Theo Kane, hold tight everybody that's locked in, hope everybody is good. In today's episode, I'm going to be doing an unboxing video. So this is a parcel that's travelled all the way from Australia. My friend Ryan, the collector kid who lives down under, who is also a YouTube toy content creator, said he wanted to send me a parcel. I've no idea what's inside it, but he said that I will... Uh, I will no doubt be happy with what he's put inside this parcel. So hopefully it's not a bomb and there's some real cool toys inside. Let's find out. <laughs> okay, come we do this. So the guy that sent me this, Ryan the Collector Kid, like I said, he's a fellow content creator on YouTube and he's very much into the stuff that I'm into. Kenner Aliens, Ninja Turtle figures, 80s stuff, 90s stuff, classic gross out stuff. He's all about that life. He loves Doctor Who stuff as well. He's got an awesome channel if you want to check it out. Obviously, I'll link it down in the description below. But yeah, man, let's open this thing and see what's inside. What's mad as well is this has been sat in my room for two days, but because I was at the Doncaster Toy Fair which is a video that will have been out weeks before this one now. I, I didn't have a chance to unbox it and do a video. I had a chance to open it, but I wanted to save it for a video. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm really excited to see what's inside this thing. And like all good toy people, it's wrapped up nice and secure. Lots of bubble wrap, lots of tape. Lots of tape. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's this? So he asked me if I'm a vegetarian or a vegan or what like my dietitian requirements were. Uh, and I said I'm a vegetarian, so I eat cheese and dairy and stuff like that. So he sent me something called Vegemites and Cheese, which look awesome. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to snack on them right after I've done this video because I've not had nothing to eat today. Are these a big thing in Australia or down under? Uh, are, these a, are these a thing? Shapes Vegemite and Cheese. Are they like crackers or something you put in the toaster? I don't know. Uh, we'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll look at them privately. He's got stickers as well all over this. I know what that is as well. A kookaburra, because I've watched Koala Man. Right, what else is there? Damn, he sent me some Tim Tam chocolates as well, or not. Did this guy just send me a lot of sweets to eat? A lot of candy? A lot of, uh, a lot of snacks? <laughs> so what's this? I see something carded. Ooh, nice. Well, I know I don't have this straight away, because I don't have any of these. Nice one. Like I said, when I was first starting this unboxing, he's very much like me. He's into his Kenner figures and stuff like that. His alien stuff, his movie-related stuff. So he sent me a Robocop Ultra Police figure, Nitro Vandals member. And I like these figures a lot, not only because I love Robocop, but they're the ones that you put the little caps in the back and you press them. Something you'd never get now. Imagine that, action figures that you put caps in the back of them and press them so it looks like they're shooting guns at each other. You'd never get that in 2023. But back in the late 80s and the early 90s, we was all about that shit. So he's wicked. Like I said, I don't have this figure. And interesting with these figures is some of them were repackaged and turned into figures for the Robin Hood Kenner line. I recently did a video. Well, I didn't recently do it. I did it last year. It was like a year ago now. But I recently watched it back just because I like to revisit my work sometimes. And uh, I'm really happy with that documentary. I did a whole documentary about the Kenner Robin Hood figures. And uh, we talked about one of the bad guys was used from this line for the Sheriff of Nottingham's head. So yeah, man, that's an awesome piece. So even if he just sent me that, that's like such an awesome thing to send me. Thank you, Ryan. Also, it's a a bit of a beta card you see this that the guy's face has been took off by a sticker or some tape so that's the kind of figure that you don't feel bad about unboxing so maybe i'll uh, maybe i'll take that completely off the card at some point would be really nice to do a review on the robocop figures at some point i have got a couple of them loose and things i did sell a lot years ago before i went to japan so maybe something i need to collect back in the future who knows maybe ryan sparked another little collection there what's this thing oh shit brother he sent me an Ice Warrior, a Dapple Ice Warrior from Doctor Who. So this is some old vintage shit. This is not some uh, this is not some new toy or anything like that. This is like an old rare piece. Shit, man, that's a real nice thing to send me. Thank you, Ryan. So if you watch my channel, you'll know that I'm a big fan of the old Doctor Who figures. And uh, Dapol did the like three and three quarter size ones. They're a little bit bigger than three and three quarter, a little bit bigger than a, a Kenner action figure, or at least this one is because he's tall. But um yeah, man, that's that's an old, old figure. I'm a bit speechless at that, bro. Like, I didn't expect you to send me something like that. That's like a, a rare piece. That's not no, like, fodder. That's not no fodder material. That's an actual, real nice, like, like old piece. So, thank you, dude. That's that's really fucking awesome of you. I've got the uh, Davros and the Sylvester McCoy as well somewhere, so I need to find them out so I can put them together to create a little display. Yeah, man, that's fucking awesome. Thank you, dude. And what else is in here? There's something else. I can feel it. There's one more thing. 
Can't go wrong with a packet of Toxic Crusader stickers. I picked some of these up when I went to Nerd Base and you can uh, never have too many of them. They're not stickers, sorry. They're hologram cards and one sticker. So you get eight cards and one sticker. But yeah, man, who doesn't love that Toxic Crusaders packaging? And he's also sent me a little letter addressed to Slime House. Let's read it and see what he says. Dear Theo, it has been awesome getting to know you and tune in every week for the Toy Talk Tuesdays. I also enjoy your other projects and your toy fair pickups and your interviewing people in the film industry. I hope this surprise package finds you well. Enjoy and share some Aussie favourites and some vintage toys. Stay safe and you know who you're going to call Ryan the Collector Kid. Peace. Peace, Ryan. Thank you very much, dude. So the stickers and the snacks are a nice little addition to the package, but these two are the prize pieces and especially the DePaul Ice Warrior. That's like an absolute bad boy. I'm really, really happy with that and I can't wait to display that with all my other shit that I've got in this room. That's uh, that's uh, definitely something that I would have picked up if I saw that at a toy fair at the right price. So the fact you've sent me that means a lot, bro. Just again, thank you. Now, just looking at this figure, it is kind of coming off the card already. Like, it's kind of it's kind of already coming off the card. So, I think I kind of need to open it so that I can try the little caps out. <laughs> yeah, the side was already sliced, so I don't feel bad about pulling it off the card. That's something that I would usually spend a long time deciding if I wanted to do it or not. But uh, not today. It was already hanging off. So, we're opening this motherfucker. So Nitro, member of the Vandals. Look at this fucking scumbag. He's got the mohawk, he's got the ponytail, he's got the red skull tattooed on his arm. He's like a certified villain and the makeup on his eyes, almost like some Native American warrior. Kind of reminds me of one of the bad guys from Death Wish 3, which is my favourite of all the Death Wish movies. Not everybody's, but it's definitely mine. That shit's like Streets of Rage, the fucking movie. So let's look at his weapons that he's got. What's this shit? Is this some like EMP for cars with like mandibles on the front like a fucking stag beetle? Let's see what it says that his weapon is. Armed with Nitro Pincher and Dino Bomb. So that's a Nitro Pincher. Whatever the fuck a Nitro Pincher is, that's what this guy's rocking to the battlefield. And then Dino Bomb. Just looks like some fucking terrorist shit. Like he's got like four mad incendiary bombs. So he puts it in his hand like that and shoots it like repeater rockets when you're a kid firing them out of fucking plastic PVC tubes at cars. What an absolute fucking cretin. So we can hold that like that, like a pistol. Or it can hold it like that, like some kind of grabbing device. Probably goes around kidnapping children and holding them for ransom and then kills them anyway because he's a fucking dirtbag. I don't know what it is about like villains in 80s things, but like in G.I. Joe and stuff like that, these guys always look like punks, bare-chested, leather vests, weird like Zuba trousers and mohawks and war paint and shit. And look at that grimace. This guy's had to do some fucking dirt today. So now let's check out his caps. Let's check out the thing that everybody's been waiting for. So you slide that up, you pull that back. Oh, you pull it down the back like that. Okay. Oh, there we go. <laughs> it works like one in five attempts. So it does kind of work, but it doesn't really pick it up on camera. Uh, very much a gimmick at the time. Back in those days, like toy companies were always trying to find out what the best gimmick is, what the kids want to see. Is it slime? Is it glow in the dark? Is it holograms with visionaries and supernaturals and stuff like that? And at this time, Kenner thought that caps in the back of their toys was the way to go. And it was definitely looking better in the commercials than it did right here on camera when I tried it all these years later. Let's see if we've got any information about this dude on the back. So Nitro is the henchman of the main bad guy in this series, Headhunter. And it said, Nitro, being Headhunter's henchman, is always trying to outdo his boss's criminal deeds using his Nitro Pincher and Dino Bomb. So yeah, like I said, absolute low life and a perfect adversary to go up against uh, Robocop and the Ultra Police. <laughs> This guy's the prime definition as well of one of those figures that like completely gets overlooked if you were looking at like who are the most iconic villains in the 80s or the 90s or anything like that in a toy line. It certainly wouldn't be this guy. But if you look at him, like he's got so much charm. There's so much about him. He looks like he could be placed in any other like 80s bad guy crew and he just fit in there perfectly. Yeah, man, I really like that guy. In many ways, I kind of want to make him like the mascot of my channel. <laughs> Look at that fucking loadout, the power pincher and the dino bomb. What a fucking dude, man. Also, while I've got the camera set up and I've got your attention, I'm going to show you a couple of other bits that I've had delivered recently just because I've uh, got the time to do it now and I get sent cool stuff by cool people and sometimes don't have the chance to like do a whole video dedicated to it. So I'm going to show you some other cool stuff that I've had delivered recently as well. 
First of all, I wanted to show you this book that I got sent to me by my friend Brad, who is also known as Brad B. Skating, and he's the dude that has the Little Warriors Foundation charity and stuff that I've spoken about before. This is a guy that's like a big supporter of my channel, but not just my channel, all the other guys on YouTube that do this kind of thing, usually Brad's there supporting them. So he always sends me cool stuff, but there's a couple of things that he sent me recently that were like standout pieces for me. So he sent me this book, and the reason this was cool is because at the minute, I'm going through the original Dragon Ball Z series for the first time ever. This is not a watch along or reaction channel or anything like that but at the minute I've been sitting down and watching an episode of Dragon Ball Z every single week because I've never seen it before. If you've watched any of those videos it was literally just because I never felt any attachment to it as a kid. I didn't like the drawing style. I didn't like these dudes in the air charging power bombs at each other and throwing them around. And uh, it just wasn't something that I connected with as a kid. But all these years later, I've actually sat down and give it a chance and I've really fucking enjoyed it. Like really, really, really enjoyed it. So every single week I've been watching an episode. So he sent me this, but because I'm not up to this point in the story yet, like I don't know who this guy is. I don't want to read it yet. I don't want to look through it because I don't want to like have any spoilers or anything like that. I don't even want to know this guy's name. I don't want to know his characteristics or anything like like that so I'm not looking at it yet but it was cool that he sent it me and uh, and he's a supporter of those videos as well because they're not everybody's thing if you're not here for anything other than toy stuff then you might not want to watch me react to Dragon Ball Z but check one out and give it a chance and see what you think I was tasked with just watching the first five episodes by another YouTuber the Tokyo Toy Bastard who sent me a parcel with a load of Keshi and cool stuff in like that I did an unboxing video of his stuff and um, he sent me the blu-ray of uh, the original Dragon Ball Z series and tasked me with watching the first five episodes and I enjoyed it so much that now I'm on like episode 35 or something and uh, yeah I've only got a couple of episodes left before I end the first ever season and I think I'm going to continue doing it because I've really enjoyed them. So yeah, if you're here for the toy thing and you don't really think that Dragon Ball Z watch alongs is your thing, then I didn't think that either. But now I really enjoy watching them and it's one of the highlights of my week sitting down watching that. Not always, sometimes they're a chore to edit, but uh, mostly there's something that I really enjoy doing. So shouts to Brad for sending me that. That was one of a few things that he sent me recently that I really liked receiving. Something else that he sent me, which was awesome, which was on my birthday last month, is he sent me some VHS tapes and in there, the prize piece for me was Conan the Destroyer. I love the Conan movies. I'm a big fan of Schwarzenegger. I love 80s action heroes, Stallone, Van Damme and all the, all the golden age action heroes superstars I love all that stuff I was raised on it and uh, in many ways I love those movies just as much as I love toys I just don't get a chance to talk about them as much on this channel but yeah really love that I'm a big VHS collector if you watched recently I went to a VHS video store all set out like the 80s and I went and reviewed it recently and checked it out and I'm gonna go back and do some more work with them guys soon but yeah man if you know me you know that I love VHS so you'll know how much I love this fucking thing but my favorite thing out of all the stuff that he sent me and bear in mind this guy sends me a lot often he sent me this which is a, an original audio tape adventure of Judge Dredd. Now, I love Judge Dredd. I love 2000 AD. I love that it's like a staple of British pop culture and that it's a British comic, but he's so iconic and his look is like recognized all over the world now so he sent me this but not only is it cool because it's judge dread but also because it's a cassette tape so i've not actually put these in yet but i have recently been working on a judge dread piece which i'm gonna i've probably posted by the time this video's out but who knows because sometimes these drawings take me a long time but yeah it's got two tapes inside here and that means there's four altogether sides because you switch these sides i plan on listening to these while i finish that judge dread picture so i thought we'll uh, we'll give one a little test now and see what it's like on my old vintage Transformers Soundwave cassette player. He's not as good at ejecting tapes as he once was, bless him. What we got in here? Masses of the Universe, Castle Grayskull Under Attack, side two. That was another audio book that I did. I'm dyslexic, I'm not very good at reading, so I like to listen to audio books and audio comics. What have I put in here? This is just a random side. Judge Dredd. Judge Dredd. Back, my fucking guy. This sounds crazy. Yeah, man, a lot going on. <laughs> so just another cool thing that I got sent by another toy enthusiast, Brad, who uh, knew that I would like it and you don't know that I'm going to enjoy listening to that thing because I only listened to a few seconds of it then and it sounds like, yo, there's a lot going on. This shit sounded like Adam F. Chaos, the intro to that album. So I'm buzzing to get into that while I finish my Judge Dredd picture. <laughs> Still can't get over how much I buzz off this guy. <laughs> Also, I recently unboxed a Technodrome. You'll have seen my unboxing of a Technodrome. And I said that in that, I also got given a big box recently of my friend's old childhood toys. Now, he gave me a bunch of toys years ago, like some Thundercats and He-Man and lots of real nice stuff with all of their weapons. And then years later, he found out the other half of that collection. So I'm still going through it, but there's lots of stuff in there. Lots of He-Man, lots of Ninja Turtles, lots of intricate little pieces as well. Individual bits and bats that I don't have for figures that I'm piecing now with stuff. There was a lot of like the wind-up turtles and their accessories and things. Lots of 
Transformers parts. But the one thing that I got out of there after I reviewed the Technodrome video, which I was really happy with, was the accessories for this guy. So this is Space Cadet Raphael, and this is one of those when they just started doing loads of different gimmicks for the Ninja Turtles figures, and I never really liked them as a kid, and I didn't like them up until a couple of years ago, where I've seen some recently, where I've been a bit like, oh, do you know what, that's kind of sick. I like the Western ones, I would like the, uh, the the Native American Leo and stuff like that, there's some real cool ones, but this is a guy that I've had on my shelf for a long time, with just his gun and just his dome, but he never had his sword and he never had his pipe. So, thanks to my friend Dean who sent me all that stuff, I now have a pipe and a sword for him, so it completely that figure and now that he's all there in his entirety I really do like this guy he's got like a space parasite octopus attached to his breathing apparatus on the back of his suit his head is a little bit scuffed and bashed I could probably bring that up with the Dremel with a buffing cup I've not had a go at trying that yet but I could probably get that looking nice and shiny again but I don't know I might just leave it I don't want to fuck it up because it took me such a long time to complete this figure and that pipe like all of the pipes in the Ninja Turtles and the Toxic Crusaders collecting scene is just like fucking gold dust to try and find I don't know what it is about these pipes but they very rarely turn up the Frank pipe turns up a lot, but all the other pipes for the other figures like Scumborgan and the Toxic Crusaders pipes for the Radiation Ranger and stuff, they're like rocking or shit to find as my dad would say. So to get that there nice and complete out of that box of stuff is fucking awesome and just another thing that I wanted to showcase on the channel and just say thank you again to Dean for sending me that stuff. And just thank you to everybody that hits me up and wants to send me stuff to Slimehouse TV. I get a lot of stuff sent to me that I don't get chance to review straight away, but then like I keep it up like archive for when I have got the chance to review it and really give it the attention that it deserves when somebody's took the time to send me something awesome. So if you have sent me something and I've not spoke about it yet, then you know that I will. I don't think there is anything that's been sent to me that I've not reviewed at this point in the, in, in the channel, but there might be. So forgive me if you've sent something and it's not been reviewed yet. If you want to send me something, I don't ask for things for free or anything like that but people do like to send me stuff if you want to do that then hit me up on instagram at theo underscore kane underscore slime house i'll let you know a delivery address a p.o box it's not my address i'm not a fucking madman i don't just give my address out to anybody but i do have a p.o box a delivery address that i'll give you privately if you want to send something to me and it will find its way to me and to slime house hq and uh, hopefully to a video if this is your first time checking out the channel, I'm Theo Kane. We do videos every single week on the YouTube and I've got a real good toy community down here. Also on Tuesdays, every single Tuesday, we always talk toys. I don't know if this will be a Toy Talk Tuesday or if it'll be a Friday drop or something like that. But either way, people always chop it up about toys down in the comments below. And we've got an awesome community here at Slimehouse. So you're welcome to become a part of that if that sounds like a bit of you. I've also got a Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Slimehouse TV. There's a couple of tiers on there, including one that allows you to get videos in advance and some other exclusive updates as well. And again, I want to say a massive thank you to Ryan for sending me the toys and for the cool snacks that I'm going to dig into in a minute. And I'm not just going to say that because I am actually genuinely hungry right now and I've not ate anything today. So yeah, shouts to Ryan for sending me not only the cool snacks, but the cool toys, the cool as fuck Doctor Who, Doctor Who uh, Ice Warrior and also the Robocop villain. They're two absolute bangers that are going to take pride of place in my collection. So thank you, brother. Also, shouts to Bradby Skating for always sending me that dope shit. And then also to Dean for sending me that big box of stuff that I was able to complete. Not only my Raphael Space Cadet, but lots of other toys as well. And I'm still digging through that box and having a lot of fun doing it. So I hope you enjoyed this little impromptu video today. I'm going to kick back, eat some snacks and finish my Judge Dread picture while I listen to an audiobook on my old Soundwave cassette player. Cassette tape player. <laughs> That's a bit of a mouthful. Anyway, I didn't plan this video. I didn't script it. It's just one of them. And I hope you enjoyed it regardless. So I'm Theo Kane. This is Slimehouse TV. And I'll catch you in the next video. Until then, I'm gone. Pow!